Welcome to Final Expense Telesales. My name is Dana Neeson and I am under the weather today. I am definitely inches away from going over the line from feeling okay and like crashing and burning in bed. So before that happens, I'm gonna give you a simple formula that you can follow every single time to overcome objections at the end of your call. If you are just now finding this channel, thank you so much for being here. I run a telesales team for Tailored Legacy. We sell final expense insurance over the phone with just one carrier. My job is to help you have stronger, more sophisticated sales conversations. If you are interested in joining my team, all my contact information is in the description below. We are bringing people on like crazy. We want to bring you on too. Give me a shout and we will make sure we can get a conversation started. Okay, here's my formula. This video is going to be really short because objection handling is not rocket science. If you stick to this formula, you will have far more success than what you're currently doing now. Step one, acknowledge the objection. I don't care if it's, I wanna think about it, I wanna to talk to someone, I wanna pray about it, I wanna do upside down circles, fly to Mars and come back before I do anything. I don't care what it is. You acknowledge and you agree. That's not a problem. I would wanna to talk to someone too. Of course you do. That, that makes a lot of sense. I would want to think about it too. Step two, now you need to pick it up and move it aside. And this is how you do it. Can we just take that for a moment and push it aside? And can I just ask step three, is this something, even something you want to have? Okay. That's step three. You ask them if they even want it. Don't go through all the process of trying to push for an approval and write an application and extend the start date if they don't even want it in the first place. So yeah, you're going to have to ask uncomfortable questions. Is this something you even want to have? Okay. Step four, if they say yes, ask them why. Now you're going to get a yes, but right. You're going to get yes, but <clears throat> because they're trying to get out of committing to making a change. So here's where you have to use your interjection skills again. If they say yes, but don't let them finish their sentence. You have to say, fantastic. Tell me why you like it right away. Don't let them keep talking and try to talk themselves out of not getting it. We need to what? Get them from logic-based thinking, which is price, back to emotion-based thinking to create the urgency to want to make the change. Ask them why they like it. Ask them lots of questions here. Remind them about the things that they told you they cared about. Remind them about the things that caused them to give you some feedback. You know, the, 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 the stuff you should have already asked them what they like. Remind them of that. Get them to sell you, okay? The next step is you want to recap and isolate the objection. So if I'm understanding you correctly, you do like it and you, you do want it because of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And really you just want to take some additional time to think about it before you really make a decision. Did I get that right? Okay. Now we isolate the objection. So the, the, the price that I quoted you, the $99 a month, does that feel affordable or should we maybe look at something that's maybe a little bit more comfortable to start? Guys, 99% chance it's the price or it's the price is too much for the amount of coverage you're giving them. So you got to find a way to get back there without just going there directly. Okay. So <clears throat> once they told us all the reasons that they liked it, why they want to have it, we're in emotion-based thinking again. So now we can bring the price back up while we're in emotion-based thinking. Does that feel comfortable or maybe should we go down a little bit to start? Okay. Can I maybe re make a recommendation? That's the next step. Ask to make a recommendation. They have to say yes, right? That's a mini invitation that allows somebody to be open to hearing what you are about to say. Don't just say, here's my recommendation, or why don't we do this? Ask permission. So it sounds like everything we've talked about today is something that really fits within what you're looking for, and it'll help your family because of all the reasons you just talked about. I think it might make sense to maybe take it down a level start at maybe the $5,000 option for just $49 a month, because at least that's going to put you and your family in a better position while you figure out whether or not you can go higher than that. Does that seem like a reasonable solution? Okay. Once you have done all of those steps and they have told you all the reasons why they want it, and there's really nothing logistically holding them back, 
then you can make a recommendation to either lower the coverage, lower the price, ask them if it's a timing issue that you do have the ability to push the start date out. Uh, most people don't care whether or not they get approved if they don't want it in the first place. So the point is follow the steps, follow the process, don't ignore the objection and just keep over talking and overselling because that is going to do the opposite of what you're intending to do, which is making the customer pull away from you, not leaning in and getting them to talk. So short video. I don't know if I'll be on the rest of the week. I might be horizontal here shortly. If you found value from this, give it a like, post a comment if there's something you'd like to share. And as always, have a great sales day.